Bello and Merry Christmas Eve from Eric and I. This morning we're having kind of just a relaxing morning. Uh, we got up and had some coffee. Eric already had a bowl of cereal with the baby. And now I'm moving on to making some waffles for my breakfast and then I'm sure Eric will have some as well. And then I don't know what today is going to bring for us. We're just going to kind of see where the day takes us and we wanted to bring you along. So let's go do this. Starting off with making Pearl Milling Company waffles. Uh, I usually make our waffles homemade, but um, Eric has been craving kind of these uh, brand for now, so I've just been using uh, this one. Uh, this is actually used to be called Aunt Jemima, but it actually rebranded the Pearl Milling Company about a year or so ago. I just noticed this as well. It still says Aunt Jemima on the box, so if you're looking for Aunt Jemima, it's just Pearl Milling Company now. To make the batter, you use one cup of the Aunt Jemima or Pearl Milling Company mix with three fourths cup of milk, two tablespoons of oil. In this case, we used olive oil and then one egg and you mix it all together. Batter is made. I'm gonna set a three minute timer to let it kind of activate the oil within the batter so then it gets nice, big and fluffy. And then we're going to make our waffles. Okay, so while the batter is resting, I'm going to go plug in the waffle maker. And the waffle maker that we have is just this Bella brand. I think it's like $20 at uh, Macy's. So I'm going to let this heat up while our batter is resting. The three minutes have passed, and now you can see how much the oil and all the ingredients have activated the dough. So now it's like big, airy, and fluffy. And then over here, our waffle maker is ready to go. So it's time to fill the waffle maker to make the first waffle. To help with sticking, we just pick up this uh, cooking spray canola oil. I think we picked this one up at Costco in the two pack. So we just spray the top and the bottom to help the waffles not stick. It's waffle time. First one's done. Golden and delicious. Hot. Oh, ow. Damn. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mmm. This is the way Erica cuts her butter instead of getting a knife out. <laughs> I didn't want to dirty a knife. I didn't. Look, this one came off perfect like a knife. That one didn't come off. I didn't want to dirty your knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Are you a filler of the holes like Jack? Or are you like me where you put it on the side? <laughs> I put my syrup in every nook and cranny because then it gets down into the syrup, into the waffle. I like it on the side, then I can dip it. But Erica just dumps the big bottle upside down. <laughs> Waffle number two is complete, and I'm using a knife to cut my butter. This is where Erica makes fun of me because I fill in all of my nooks and crannies when I put my syrup in. Go from one to the next to the next until they're all full. That's gonna do it for our breakfast. Uh, our batch made about two and a half, so we each had one, and then we have just this little leftover amount for later on in the day. And uh, we'll catch you a little later on when we get ready. Eric has decided I need a Christmas cut, so next time you see me, I'll have a fresh cut. And like that, I have my Christmas cut. That's gonna do it for me for now. I'm gonna go out and work on a project that we're working on building a bed for our guest room, we have a full size bed that needs a bed frame. So I'm in the process of building a bed frame there. And then we'll pick this up again, wherever the night might take us. Happy Christmas Eve, everybody. It's about eight o'clock now, and we're gonna go out and look at some Christmas lights. That's what we usually do on Christmas Eve is drive around and look at lights and we drink hot chocolate. Instead of hot chocolate, we're gonna have eggnog lattes tonight and take those with us. So join us, we'll show you some of the pretty lights that we end up spotting and let us know in the comments what you usually do on Christmas Eve. Look how 
Jeter Bend but they don't do the light shows that they used to do where everybody in the neighborhood street got involved they ended that last year but it still looks like a lot of people can't see it but we're at our local Home Depot because when we lived in Georgia one of the years that we lived there this was probably two years ago now um, they put all of the real Christmas trees and reefs out for free on Christmas Eve so we're checking to see if they do it down here they didn't do it last year at Home Depot but the first year that we had lived in Georgia they put all the real stuff out there for free because it was just gonna get thrown away anyway so we're gonna take a peek and see if this one has a free sign and have it all for free because that's what we ended up doing one year on Christmas Eve was come to get a free tree so let's see nope looks like it's all closed up no free trees well we tried <laughs> That's gonna do it for us. We're home again. We're gonna get our jammies on and watch Home Alone 2 as we keep filtering through all of our favorite Christmas movies. We've already watched Home Alone 1. We still gotta watch The Grinch. Um, so thanks for joining us today and we'll see you around like a donut.